Hello friends! Today we're going to find out how to install Magic Lantern firmware on a Canon DSLR camera. I've never done it before, so we're going to discover this together. First, here is the Canon camera. It's turned on. I'm going to turn it off now. We'll start by checking if the model is compatible. It's a Canon Rebel T5. Let's do some research on it. We'll go on the Magic Lantern website. Magic Lantern Magic Lantern home page OK. I want to see what models are compatible. Camera support. That's good. I have the T5. I don't see it yet. 5D? Hmm. It's there, but under port in progress. OK, when we go to the Magic Lantern download page, we end up here. The main builds, which I see are compatible. It has passed the test. But here I have the port in progress. And I see that mine, the T5, has nine tests passed. Zero failed. So that's a keeper for me. Good. So, this would be the version of Magic Lantern that I would download for my camera. It turns out to be an equivalent to the 1200D model. It's practically the same thing. One is usually for Europeans and the other for Americans. Now, we will download the zip file. Let's download the zip file. And then we can see the installation procedures as they are described in English as they appear in this translated video. Installation. Make sure you are running Canon Firmware 1.02. OK. How do I check this? Canon Firmware. It must be in the settings of my camera. I'm going to turn it on and go into my settings. How do I do so? Let's start with menu. I need the camera information. I'm going to turn the dial to manual. OK. I might have more options now. Ah, firmware version 001.01. It's not the good one. It means that I have to update my firmware before in order for this to work. How do I install the firmware 1.02? Let's make a search to find out. Canon Rebel T5. Firmware update. Yes, version 1.02. This is the one I want. The Canon Canada customer help. I think I'm in the right place. So, version 102 T5, that's it. That's the one I want. Download. Perfect. Save. And we'll open the download folder. Download this one. I'll extract it. I'll see what's inside. 1200 DT5. I'll take the latest version, which dates from August 26, 2015. It's five minutes more recent. I'll take it. OK, so this is the firmware update procedure. First of all, I have to format the SD card in the camera. Then after, I will remove the card and plug it into my computer. OK. And now I'm back inside the menu. Now where's Format? Ah, there it is. Click Format Card. OK. Everything will be erased. That's exactly what we want. Perfect. So now the card is formatted and it's empty. No images. Perfect. I turn off the camera and we'll eject the memory card from it. Now, I'll need to plug it into the computer. Oh, this is my USB reader. Good. OK, now let's plug it into the computer. This is the SD card from the camera. Step 2. Copy firmware update file to the window that appears when the SD card is opened in the root directory. OK. And this is my camera. 
I finally unzip it, extract here, yes. So this is moving along. Well, basically we copy the firmware and we'll put it in the camera, in the root, paste. Perfect. It's settled. Remove the SD card. Eject. It's good. Now. I can disconnect it. So, let's reconnect to the camera, okay? Let's turn on the power of the camera. Now I place the memory card back inside the camera. Click. Good. There, I turned it on. So what's the next step now? Step 4, rotate the dial knob, select P mode. Here on top, I'll put it on the letter P. Click, click, OK. What does the P mode do? This mode is in the creative zone. Good, that pleases me. It suits me fine. Just to follow the procedures to the letter, they say to turn on the camera while there's no card inside, and then I place the card inside, putting the card after having set the camera to P mode. Good. So back in the menu. Firmware version. Current version is 1.1. Update. Yes, that's what I want. Now we'll see if the camera fails or if it passes. And you must not run out of battery power. If it shuts down, it's over. Perfect. Enter. I can't change it. Please select new firmware version. Yeah, that's it. It's finished. So it's now updated to 1.02. Perfect. Update firmware. Okay. I even have a little timer that tells me the progression of it. All right. Now update is completed. Yes, sir. Confirmed. Now. My camera has firmware version 1.02. I'll go see it in the menu. Great. Next step. Now that's done. We can return to Magic Lantern. Yes, here. Ah, uh, look another .fir file inside. Excellent. So I'll read the procedures. Now I'll format the SD card one more time again. It will crush the already existing firmware folder. But that doesn't matter. So let's format now. There you go, it's here. Good. Press OK. OK, now I will plug again the memory card into the computer and transfer the folder inside it. So now, on the computer desktop, you can see my EOS Digital appear. Yes, and that's the root folder of my Canon. I need to fetch Magic Lantern here. Here. Extract here. Here. Magic Lantern. All of that. I copy all this. Copy. EOS Digital. I paste it in the root folder. So there I have my firmware that I want to update. And here I have an ML file for Magic Lantern. Good. It's made for Magic Lantern to work. Here I have the script file. We'll look at it and understand how it works and what we can do with it in another video. For now, let's move on. Next step, I have to do another firmware update, but with the Magic Lantern file. So this procedure will enable the boot disk flag appear in your camera flash ROM. This will allow it to load, to run custom codes from the memory card. Uh, and a copy of the original ROM will be saved on the memory card too. That's cool. Magic Lantern will run from the card, but will not replace the original firmware. So in the end, you do not hack the original firmware of the Canon. Everything is located on the memory card. Then, once you change the memory card, you will no longer have Magic Lantern, but your camera will still work normally. It just resides on the memory card. After the installation, copy the ROM, make a backup, in case something wrong happens. So now I can eject my card. Eject. We'll put it back inside the camera.
OK, to update the firmware, it's the same procedure as before. I'm going to click on the third key icon, Firmware 1.02 Version Update. Yes, press OK, that's all. Did it work? Oh, Magic Lantern, installed. Yes, it worked. We like it like that. Now you restart your camera. After reboot, copy the ROM, ML logs, ROM, bin to the PC, and back it up on a card somewhere just in case. I think I won't need it. But as they suggest to do it, I'll do it anyway. So, Magic Lantern is installed now. I turn on the camera, and there. How do I run Magic Lantern? For this specific camera model, to open Magic Lantern, start Live View. Hit the Display button until the sound bar appear, and then hit the Trash button to open Magic Lantern. In the Magic Lantern menu, I have all my settings that I can put in there. I can modify the ISO. Gosh, it's all black. It's hard to see things. We just see the data when you scroll. Well, maybe that's why it was not in the approved builds. It was still in progress. But that doesn't matter. It satisfies me anyway. I'm able to modify the ISO. Can I? Ah, yes, that's it. I press Q to pull up the menu. ISO equivalent. Canon Analog ISO. Listen, Magic Lantern is huge. You can spend hours on it, looking at all the functions. In the context of the upcoming solar eclipse, what interests us is the bracketing, advanced bracket. That's the menu that we are interested in. Let's further look. We also have the intervalometer. That's good. Let's do the intervalometer. How do I modify it? I press Q, take a picture every 10 seconds or more. Or I can take pictures every second or less. Like crazy, that's the burst mode. Wow, incredible, as I hold my finger on it. It just takes photos like crazy. Start, trigger, leave the menu, so I press leave menu. Then it starts automatically after three seconds. Let's stop it after it just takes photos like crazy. For now, I'm turning it off. Advanced bracket, yes, Q, here we go. Bracket type T, V, A, E. I can change that too. I can choose the type of bracket I want. Looking at his script, he does his bracket by changing the V increment. Yes, that's good too. I press Q, enter. I can modify my increments to do his bracketing sequence. We'll have to look at the documentation to see all this in detail. Well, now Magic Lantern is installed and functions properly. In the next video, we are going to look at and learn how to apply the settings to photograph the total solar eclipse in full automated mode, so you won't have your hands on the camera, losing time and making unnecessary vibrations. You'll be able to watch and enjoy the event. With that, thank you for watching, and clear skies. Bye.